very good morning students today it is a presentation on radio propagation topics to be covered in this lecture is introduction to radio propagation electromagnetic waves wave front and finally we are going to conclude this lecture by discussing about the field space propagation model the outcome of today's lecture is the students have a well defined knowledge on electromagnetic waves about the wave front and about the field space propagation model as these models are used in many of the wireless communication system the students will have a complete knowledge on this particular topic the objective of today's lecture is students will have understanding of radio propagation understanding of electromagnetic waves its definition properties electromagnetic spectrum and wave front and then in depth knowledge on field space propagation model the motivation for this topic is electromagnetic waves are the propagating waves which is present everywhere and it is used in many of the wireless communication applications like wireless mobile communications satellite communications and also it is used in medical fields like x rays gamma rays infrared rays and also in the am broadcasting and fm broadcasting so this motivates us to study about this topic on electromagnetic waves section 2 radio propagation radio propagation is the propagation of radio waves from one point of the earth to the other point of the earth when the radio waves are being propagated it is being affected by many of the properties like reflection refraction diffraction scattering and also the polarization plays a very important part in this propagation of the electromagnetic waves and waves are propagated in many of the frequencies based on the frequencies it is being classified starting from extremely very low frequency to a tremendously very high frequency like the various frequency bands are extremely low frequency which has the frequency range less than 300 hertz and then we have infra rays whose frequency range is from 300 hertz to 3 kilohertz so like this we have various classification of this electromagnetic waves based on the frequency and also based on the wavelength and this electromagnetic waves have different modes of propagation like we have a ground wave propagation we have sky wave propagation and space wave propagation so this radio frequency band called as the electromagnetic frequency band has a classification based on the parameter called as the wavelength and frequency and mainly the various modes are this ground wave space wave and sky wave propagation the various modes of propagation as i have said in the previous slide like we have ground wave space wave and sky wave propagation so these are the waves which is being transmitted between the transmitter and the receiver and these waves uh, takes up a certain height in the atmosphere and we classify the different layers of the atmosphere like troposphere from the earth surface it is at a height of 0 to 12 km then we have st uh, stratosphere which is from a height of 12 to 50 km then we have mesosphere which is at a height from 50 to 80 km and then we have ionosphere which is from 80 to 720 km so the waves between the transmitter and the receiver is being propagated in any of these layers it gets reflected from any of the layers and it is being received at the receiver end what is electromagnetic wave so we are going to discuss what is electromagnetic wave and then how the electromagnetic waves are formed then about its properties and then about its spectrum electromagnetic waves definition what is electromagnetic waves it is a combination of electrical and a magnetic component it is a wave which is being propagated in the atmosphere so electromagnetic waves are defined very well by the scientist called as james clerk maxwell so it is defined as 
it is a combination or the coupling of electrical and the magnetic component which is propagated in the atmosphere it is also defined as the way which is propagated in the outer atmosphere or in the vacuum and it does not need any medium to be transmitted from the transmitter end to the receiver end this slide clearly shows the propagation of the electromagnetic wave you can see how the electrical component and the magnetic components are propagated the electrical component and the magnetic component both are mutually perpendicular to each other and the direction of the propagation of wave it is uh, orthogonal to the other two components that is the electrical component and the magnetic component so we saw the definition of electromagnetic waves and also the animation of the propagation of the electromagnetic waves now it is uh, the generation of the electromagnetic waves when we talk about the generation of electromagnetic waves it is based on the principle of the time varying generation of magnetic field based on the electric field and the time varying electric field based on the generation of the magnetic field so we saw the definition of electromagnetic waves and also the animation on the propagation of electromagnetic waves and uh, on about the uh, generation of the electromagnetic waves it is very well given by the faraday's lenz law and the ampere's maxwell law the faraday's lenz law said that the time varying magnetic field generates electric field and it was modified by the ampere maxwellus the time varying electric field generates the magnetic field so based on these two principle the, there is a generation of the electromagnetic waves so this slide it is a demonstration on the propagation of the electromagnetic waves so this video is very clear like how the propagation of the electrical component and the magnetic component present in the electromagnetic wave is propagated now it is electromagnetic spectrum so electromagnetic spectrum is a very important with respect to the classification of the frequency and wavelength we all know that there is a relation between the frequency and wavelength it is given by a relation lambda equal to c by f where a term component lambda indicates wavelength c indicates velocity of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second and f indicates the frequency so the relation is lambda equal to c by f electromagnetic spectrum is given based on the relation of the frequency and wavelength from this relation we know th we know that when the wavelength increases the frequency decreases and when the frequency increases the wavelength decreases so from the spectrum the diagram spectrum it is very clear that we can see there is an increase in the frequency uh, starting from the radio waves up to the gamma rays and correspondingly there is a decrease in the wavelength starting from the radio waves up to the gamma rays so this electromagnetic spectrum clearly shows that which rays or which application is used in which particular frequency properties of electromagnetic waves so first property is the velocity of electromagnetic wave in free space or vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second that is the velocity of light and there is no need of medium for the propagation of electromagnetic waves and electromagnetic waves can be polarized polarization it is a very important parameter with respect to the alignment of the antenna with respect to the horizontal surface like we have different types of polarization like vertical polarization and horizontal polarization next is electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature what is transverse we saw the propagation of electromagnetic waves and 
the propagation of the electron magnetic wave contains the combination of the electrical component and the magnetic component the transverse means the direction of propagation is perpendicular to the component that is the electrical component and the magnetic component we have two types one is the transverse and longitudinal and we say that electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature next is electromagnetic waves has energy and momentum because electromagnetic waves are used in the am broadcasting and fm broadcasting and also in other wireless applications so it needs to have an energy and also momentum they exhibit the diffraction and interference because electromagnetic waves are propagated in wireless in between the transmitter and the receiver and since there are a lot of disturbances present in between the transmitter and the receiver it exhibit exhibits a property called as the diffraction and also there may be a presence of interference which can be avoided examples of electromagnetic waves the various examples of electromagnetic waves are radio waves gamma rays infrared rays visible light thermal radiation so these are the various examples and this makes the electromagnetic spectrum so the next topic is on wavefront as the electromagnetic waves are transmitted from the transmitter to the receiver it is very important to know about what is wavefront is the definition of wavefront is given as it is an imaginary line or a surface that joined all adjacent points which has the same phase of vibrations when the waves comes out of the transmitting antenna it is very important that the waves are maintaining the same phase depending on the antenna where sometimes the waves are converted from one form of the wavefront to the other form of the wavefront the diagram in this slide clearly shows the adjacent points or the line which is indicated are of same phase it is also defined as wavefront it is the continuous locus of all the particles in a medium that are vibrating in the same phase for example a light source sends the waves in all the directions so it is very important that that it is vibrating in the same phase so this slide shows the different types of wavefronts the first indicates the wavefront of a plane wave or planes we can see the complete plane wavefront here the second indicates the conversion of a plane wavefront to a, a spherical wavefront through the lens and the third indicates a spherical wavefront in most of the applications since it is wireless it is a form of a, a spherical wavefront for example when we throw a stone in the water there is a formation of the spherical waves and this is just an example of how the wavefronts are being formed the wavefronts are continuously it is being formed when there is a continuous disturbances for example from the antenna there is a continuous radiation there is a continuous formation of the spherical waves so we have different types of wavefronts like plane wavefront spherical wavefronts etc dear students completed the topic on electromagnetic waves and wavefront and the last topic is the free space propagation model so free space propagation model it is used to predict the received signal strength when there is an unobstructed line of sight between the transmitter and the receiver whenever we have the uh, line of sight path where we can go for the uh, free space propagation model. it is mainly used in the applications like mobile communication and satellite communication so the derivation for this free space model it is given as 
first we predict the value of the receipt bar so this value of the receipt bar it is given by the fris free space equation fris is the person who has given this particular equation on the signal strength that is being received it is given as pr which is equal to p suffix t gt gr into lambda square divided by 4 pi d the whole square so in this equation pr indicates the receipt power pt indicates the transmitter power gt indicates the gain of the transmitting antenna gr is the gain of the receiving antenna lambda is the free space wavelength and d is the a distance between the transmitting and the receiving antenna by knowing these parameters we can able to estimate we can calculate the received signal strength and we know that the relation lambda is given as lambda equal to c by f and the value of the gain which is related to the effective aperture of the antenna is g which is equal to 4 pi into a suffix e divided by the lambda square the wave which comes out of the antenna it mainly depends on how the aperture of the antenna is being designed the aperture of the antenna plays a very important role in terms of the gain of the antenna and finally the values of the path loss is given as 10 log of pt by pr and on calculation we get the final result as 10 log 10 log based on of lambda square divided by 4 by d the whole square in terms of negative and we consider the value of the gain that is gt and grs equal to 1 and we need to know that the distance which is called as the fraunhofer distance always whenever the signal is being transmitted from the transmitting antenna and the receiving antenna the distance that is that should be maintained is the fraunhofer distance which is given as tf should be greater than or equal to 2d squared by lambda so this is the derivation for a free space propagation model this is a very important model used in wireless communication for mobile communication and satellite communication students we have discussed about the a free space propagation model and this is a numerical on free space propagation model this numerical says that is a transmitter produces 50 watts of power this is a very simple numerical and just they are asking you to do a conversion that is express the transmit power in dbm and also in db watts so how this is being solved so the first is we need to convert 50 watts in terms of dbm so the formula that is used here is 10 log of that is we need to convert the given power in terms of the milliwatts because we need to finally convert in terms of milliwatts so whatever the values that is being given the numerator values we need to convert as per the denominator values for example we need to finally represent terms of dbm so the formula is 10 log of transmitter power in terms of milliwatts divided by 1 milliwatts so if we solve this we are getting the answer as 47 dbm similarly the next is we need to convert in terms of db watts so it is 10 log base 10 of the numerical value in terms of watts and denominator value in terms of watts so finally we get the answer as 17 db watts uh, students today we have discussed about the topic that is radio propagation electromagnetic waves its definition its properties electromagnetic spectrum and about the wave front and we have discussed in depth about the uh, free space propagation model so today's topic is a very important topic as it is used in many of the real time applications the reference books that is used for this lecture is we have referred a book author name is jd cross and runs for all applications then next author is sadiku that is elements of electromagnetics and also kd prasa so these are the reference books so 
finally we conclude with an activity so students i request you all to uh, submit your write up on the different radio applications you can form a group among yourself you can uh, think about how to do a write up about a particular application and then you can submit this write up as an assignment students i hope you have understood the topics we have discussed today if you have any queries you can mail it to me your queries students with this we conclude the today's session students thank you very much for your cooperation